Hey YouTubers, this is your girl, coming to Hint Eight Four. I'm coming to you for small DIY. You, everybody knows I'm a shoe fanatic. I'm a shoe junkie, shoe whatever you want to call me. But I had these pumps that I had some platform pumps, but you know they were a cream color and they were easy to get dirty. And I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna keep cleaning these shoes. Um, I really don't really like really don't like light shoes because of that simple fact that they get dirty. And then it's like, ooh, so you have to find something to, you know, clean the fabric or whatever. So I did find, I had went to um, Joanne's Fabrics, and I had brought all these red feathers, waste of money, because I put them on a shoe, and I didn't like the way it looked. So I took those off. Well, I tried to, to rip them off once. I only did one shoe. So I had to try to rip them off. But like I was saying. Back to today. Um, I went today and bought these little grab bag of buttons, like sew on buttons for your shirt and stuff like that. And I bought this glue. It's called Goop. I basically use the majority of it. And um, 12 yards of a gold chain. So I was like, hey, I can use this stuff to do my shoe. That's what I brought it for anyway. But this is the. Grab, this is what they grab, but I use the majority of it. But there are all kinds of different buttons. Buttons like this. Buttons like this. Buttons like this. They have really nice buttons, but the only thing they're plastic. But you still can make like a really cute jewelry piece out of it. I was thinking about making a big old dumb cluster ring out of like different buttons and stuff. But anyway, this is what I've gotten so far with the buttons. I'm not finished, quite finished yet. I do want to, like, majority cover the shoe. But this is it. And I'm putting the chain around the hair. The heel. I don't know why I can't talk to this. And I'm going to carry it all the way up here. I would have carried it lower, lower, but I don't know. But I'm just basically, I'm not doing any kind of order to it. I'm just letting it do its own thing around the heel. So this is a, this is my button shoe, and I think it is fabulous. It is so cute. But as you can see, like on certain parts, you still can see like the red uh, feather. So I have to figure out something. I probably like get some, um, maybe like a gold glitter or something to just, you know, put glue in certain spots and sprinkle it with the glitter just to camouflage that red. Um, but this is the shoe, and I love it. Like, it's so me. It's so out there. And I'm just going to, um, I'm going to come back through here and fill in some of the spots with the buttons like I did here, like the layer, like I did here with the buttons. So this is my DIY of my shoe, which I think is sad. It's very different. It's very me, and I cannot wait to sign a banging outfit to basically wear these shoes with. But as far as the project, it's really easy, ladies. All I did, you see these little hooks? Oh, you can't see it right now. But you see those little button hooks on the back for you to sew the button on? I basically took, um, just took some small needle nose, not needle nose, but these small wire cutters and cut those off and glued them on. That's it. As far as the chain, I took the chain and basically tucked it behind the button, well, glued it down, and then I placed buttons on top of it so that it could camouflage the end of the chain that were cut. And I also used the wire cutters to basically clip the wire or whatever. So this is my button shoe, which I love, 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 love. It's so, so, so cute. Um, so, again, I went to Michael's and got all of my supplies today from there. So you ladies can do the same thing with any kind of button you want. You, I'm, you probably, I'm sure you can probably get buttons from, like, Walmart or whatever for, you know, a cheap price or whatever. But that's my shoe. I hope you guys like it because I love it. And that's that. Mooches.